Request video number two. We need more MIDI stuff. MIDI, 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 wood, wood, wood. I love MIDI. You want MIDI? Let's talk about MIDI. Manly, Irish, Dingleberry, Incense. Oh shoot, wrong script. Ah, musical instrument digital interface. <laughs> like MIDI drums. <laughs> MIDI keyboard. <laughs> MIDI keyboard! See, MIDI devices are great, but I just don't have the space for another one. Come on. Come on. MIDI devices are so useful because you can control music programs with them. Like FL Studio, Ableton, Pro Tools. What really sucks is that when I'm playing the guitar, I don't have another hand for another MIDI device. Here's an idea. Let's integrate a MIDI controller into the body of the guitar so that I can play the strings and control MIDI at the same time. I'm thinking we use hand movements as a MIDI slider, and then we can map this MIDI slider to any digital effect that we want. So, let's do that. The secret's in the mitten. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, MIDI effect, link, uh, whoa. Up, down, up, down. Whoa. Okay, so now let's map it to an equalizer sweep so that we get the effect. Distortion. One more. Um, phaser. <laughs> Now let's bring in some buttons. Three buttons here, one for each effect. Equalizer sweep, distortion, and phaser. Put the buttons over here. There we go. That's a good spot. I'm still learning how to use it, so bear with me. Here's how it all works. You remember that Arduino project we had last time? The metal detector? Uh, this one? Well, here inside my guitar is a detector coil and my mitten is lined with tin foil. The detector detects the proximity of the tin foil and sends a signal over to an Arduino in the back. The Arduino then sends a MIDI slider signal out the MIDI jack. That's about it. Ugh, sweaty. Full schematics at the end of the video. Let's go build stuff. For this, we're gonna need an Arduino, Colpitz oscillator, MIDI port, cups. We're gonna start by creating a detector coil. Take the cups, cut off the lips and tape them together to make a spool. Then let's take apart a transformer, take the wire from it and give the spool 70 wraps of that wire. Solder the ends of the spool to an audio cable and we're done with the detector coil. Next we'll have to make a Colpitz oscillator circuit, exactly the same one as the one in our metal detector project. If you don't know what this is, then check out this video. Now we take the Arduino, plug it in and upload the code. Next we're going to connect up all our components. And I'm going to hot glue everything onto a piece of cardboard because no one's willing to sponsor us the 3D printer. <laughs> Psst, it's not too late. Let's also make ourselves a lid so that we get something that looks like a box and not just a pile of glue on cardboard. Close it up with a nut and bolt and place some Velcro strips to the back of the box. That'll do it. Detector coil in here, MIDI signal over here, USB power over here, and buttons go in here. This is not a USB port. It was the only four pin connector I had. So if you're gonna be tempted to plug a USB stick in here, don't use a USB port. Now let's make some buttons by salvaging a broken calculator. Cut out a faceplate, sand it down and close off the sides. And then let's take some tactile buttons and solder them onto a perf board. Like I said before, I'm using a USB connector because that's the only four pin connector I have. Don't plug this in your computer. Now let's close it off and add a thin layer of blue tack on it so that it'll stick to the guitar. Oh. Done. Let's slip our detector coil into our sound hole like that and plug it in. 
buttons go here, plug that in as well, plug in the MIDI cable and the patch cord, and we're good to go. Oh right, the glove! Line it with tin foil! Hey, as always, here's the full schematics if you want to build one of these yourself. Check out the description box for everything you need. On another note, the technical article for the metal detector project is now out on All About Circuits. So if you're having trouble with this one, go check out the article over here. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next week. Bye!